Hey everybody, it's John Loomer with JohnLoomer.com and John Loomer Digital on Facebook. Here to talk to you about Facebook custom audiences. Previously only available to the big boys, Facebook media partners, now available to all through uh, Facebook Power Editor, which is a Chrome plugin, or through the Facebook Advertising API. So if you use a third party application to manage your Facebook ads that utilizes that API, you may be in luck as well. So real quick, let me explain what custom audiences are first. Um, so essentially what this is, is taking uh, your customer email list or phone number list or Facebook user ID list, um, especially the, the email list and phone number list that you've uh, put together outside of Facebook. So people may not even like your page at this point. And you've, you've probably aggregated that with AWeber or MailChimp or a tool like that. Um, so taking that list and then targeting them. So Facebook would then match up uh, those emails or those phone numbers or user IDs to Facebook users. And you could then serve up ads to those people. So some really big opportunities there. So how do we do it? Um, like I said, Power Editor is the main way most of us will have access to it if you don't use a third-party app that utilizes the Facebook advertising API. Um, Power Editor is simply a Chrome plugin, and it's uh, basically a, a bulk editor of Facebook ads. It's, it's certainly not particularly user-friendly. It's a little clunky, but you can get access to a lot of cool features here. So uh, within Power Editor, you will now see this option for custom audiences. And um, so once you click on that, you can actually create an audience. So click that button. And then from here, you just name your audience. Uh, you determine whether it's emails, UIDs, or phone numbers. And you click the button to choose a file and upload that file. So essentially what you want to upload is a CSV or a text file, just going to be one column um, with just the emails or just the UIDs or phone numbers, no header or row, and that's it. Um, make sure to uh, read the custom audience terms. I'm still trying to digest those to determine you know, what, whether or not it is okay to use these email addresses or phone numbers that, you're, that you uh, are uploading. Uh, if you've determined that's okay, go ahead and create this custom audience. Select that audience, and then you can click Create an Ad Using Audience. And then, at that point, this is just like creating any other ad, really. Um, you still got the creative location and demographics, interests, and broad categories. So you can still layer all this on top, even though you have these this very targeted list. You can determine, okay, well, I'm going to target serve these up to people in my email list, um, but only people with specific interests. And then you can put, you know, you can determine on the placements, connections on Facebook. Maybe you're going to only target people who aren't currently uh, Facebook fans of your page. And then finally, within custom audiences, this will automatically be pre-filled pre -filled now. Uh, and then you can also even exclude audiences. So if you have several email lists, for example, uh, that are segmented, for whatever reason, this could really come in handy here if, if it's really detailed in terms of how you've created those lists. So that's really it. Um, I'm going to go separately into you know what you can do with custom audiences, um, some of the, the potential there in, in separate tutorials, but I want to make sure that uh, you knew that this was possible and you start diving into it. And for more on this, make sure you check out my tutorial on johnlumer.com and make sure you like my page on Facebook, John Loomer Digital. Thanks.